don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before so welcome back to another video on the finance value guy and in today's video i'm going to be telling you exactly why shiba inu is doing exactly what we wanted and why it is right on time guys and girls ladies and gentlemen this is another shiba inu video and so far the picture hasn't changed everything is going as exactly as expected let's go over what happened yesterday and why some people are very very scared about the recent crypto move so yesterday you guys may know that bitcoin actually did do a retracement okay as you guys can see on the 24-hour chart um, it did retrace 5 point, you know, 5, 5.72. Um, that was something that, you know, scared a lot of people. A lot of people are calling for bear markets. And it's really funny how a 65K Bitcoin does have a lot of the Bitcoin bulls in their feelings. Okay. So as you guys can see right now, Shiba Inu is up, of course, over 11% and over 5%. And many people are left wondering why. But when I go to the charts, I'm going to tell you guys exactly why this is actually perfectly normal and why this is something that we could have easily expected and something that I've been talking about on my Patreon for quite some time now. So this is very, very easily predictable. So let's go over right onto this chart and i'm going to show you guys why we had the move that we had okay and i'm going to show you guys something that i was just studying the charts okay and i actually managed to find something even more interesting than most people found okay and i've only ever seen this twice okay so maybe this could signal the start of a major melee rally for shiba inu and i'm going to show you guys exactly why okay um and i wish i did catch this earlier but um, yeah, life right now, guys, is just absolutely crazy. And I'm really trying to stay on top of things. But anyways, enough about me. So you all know in my videos, I previously ref referenced this blue line. Okay, now this blue line, if you don't know, in fact, let me just, um, you know, lower the opacity on this so you don't get confused. This blue line, okay, as you guys can see, has a very, very long history of making the price of Shiba Inu rise. As you guys can see right here, the first time we touched this blue line, we had a major, major, major rally all the way up to this level right here, as you guys can see. That rally actually did a, let me just show you guys um, on the price price the price range as you guys can see that rally did a 260 percent rally on the first time we touched that blue line the next time we had that okay you guys can see price action did rally once again um as you guys can see price action rallied once again all the way up i don't even know if we're gonna be able to get it guys uh let me just see price action rallied because it's actually not sticking oh my god this is such a terrible video okay price action rallied once again around 200 percent now as you guys can see once again we are about to hit that blue line and we did just touch that blue line now is price action once again about to rally 200%? And let's see what the historical blue line tells us about this price target. So let's see. In fact, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and get this price action right here. As you guys can see, 200%, of course, is definitely pretty crazy, but it would take us, okay? And this is a very, very crazy, crazy scenario. It would take us, of course, to smashing a zero. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to happen because, of course, that would be crazy, but I do think that it is possible with a certain scenario, guys. And I do think that if it's going to happen, it would happen here, but not here. So as you guys can see, when we had this major drop off, okay, and many people were panicking about Shiba Inu crashing, us in the, you know, Discord, on the Patreon, we were actually very, very poised because we, okay, had our buy orders set for this area as down here, as you guys can see. I'm going to show you guys on the Patreon, okay, in the Discord, where we were talking about setting our buy orders as low as this blue line. So as you guys can see here on the right side of my screen, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I bought the 47 dip yesterday. I had the buy order set to 44 to 47. So technically 47, the wick is at 47, the price is at 47, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, this was something, okay, that people on the Discord actually managed to catch very quickly. And as you guys can see, that 47 was the exact price where, you know, Shiba Inu dipped. That was the exact moment to dip. Now, if you've been listening to my videos, I did say to you guys, okay, if you're watching the charts, you'll know that this blue line is a historical resistance slash bounce line as to where the price will bounce and to where I'm buying in as to where you guys will buy in. So around this area is where I said. Now, of course, if we manage to touch the white line again, I'm going to be buying even more, guys. If we do touch the blue line again, I'll be buying more Shiba Inu. Now, the reason is let's take a look at the big picture guys okay and this is why shiba inu is right on schedule guys things are going exactly according to plan shiba inu is exactly according to plan it's not bullish it's not bearish it's just going exactly what we're doing um and currently okay we are on basically the verge of another major run-up okay now provided that bitcoin doesn't do, do throw any haymakers or doesn't do anything crazy okay we do have some very very nice price targets i'm going to show you guys exactly why okay so basically if we zoom out of this you guys can see okay that there are three areas where we got rejected okay on this yellow line we got rejected here we got rejected here and we got also rejected here okay and as you guys can see this yellow line that we've been having okay this yellow line has been an area of major major resistance now because it's an area of major major resistance in the past of course it's going to be that area in the future but of course on the flip side we've had the blue line here which is a major area of support which means okay that currently when we have this area okay this right here this is the squeeze zone okay now in the next three days there's going to be an interesting move for shiba inu because we can either 
go to the upside, okay? Which means we'll go straight to 62, okay? If we break this line convincingly, probably break up, come down and come up. We're going to go straight to 62. If we go down here, we could potentially go to 44, okay? But I do believe that this move will be dictated not by Shiba Inu, but largely by what Bitcoin does. Because this large retracement that we just had down here, it was already predicted in the Shiba Inu charts, but it was just further exacerbated because Bitcoin moved down. And when Bitcoin moves down, you will know that other altcoins move down. So I know you guys like watching the Shiba Inu price charts. Just remember, just check Bitcoin every now and again, because if Bitcoin is down quite a bit, and if you're seeing Bitcoin have some major dips, it will affect the price of Shiba Inu and it will drag other altcoins down with it, okay? So you have to understand that. So now for Shiba Inu, guys, I do have this long-term support line, this long-term resistance line that once we break above this line, guys, we will enter the next stage where Shiba Inu will start to rally. So this is why I'm saying, guys, as long as you watch the charts, all of these price movements aren't pretty crazy. And I'm going to show you guys a, a, a crazy, crazy price move, okay? That was, you know, very, very easily printed in the charts. And I'm going to show you guys exactly why this rally happened here. Because I only realized this just as I was making this video, but I'm going to show you guys, okay? So in trading view, there is something called a, I do believe it is called a ghost pattern, okay? And what this does, okay, a boss pattern is I can copy a feed from here to here and I can copy and paste it, guys. And what people do with these patterns is they use it to show you what could happen next because history often repeats itself. So I'm going to show you guys, okay, this right here. So as you guys can see right here, this just looks like a mess. You're just saying, okay, what we have here is just a random, random pattern. No, okay? When you learn to train your brain to analyze and see patterns, you're easily able to understand where Shiba Inu is going and why we just had that recent rally and why we're still poised for a major move up even if the price action goes down in the short term. So as you guys can see here, we have this W, okay? Remember the upside down McDonald's sign, okay? So we have the W, okay, which is a W bottom, okay? It's definitely very hard to see these in a moment and sometimes you shouldn't try to catch these because guys, trust me, it's very, very hard to, but here's what we have, okay? We have this W here, okay? Then we have this one right here, as you guys can see. So we got this W, then we got a U, and then we got the major move up, guys. So this is basically a double bottom to a cup and handle, however you want to call it. And I'm going to show you guys the exact thing just happened, okay? So we have this W, a U, and then a major move up, guys, okay? And, and look at this, guys, okay? Because this is just pretty crazy when I saw this, okay? What did we have, okay, over here, guys? What did we have here? We had the same exact thing, a W, and then a U, and then a major move up to this line. But as you guys can see, we're also getting some resistance here. And this is exactly on the yellow line, guys, exactly on the yellow line that I have drawn. So I know that now, okay, you know, when you draw a line and you know that you're getting resistance at that exact level, you now know that that is a key, key level for um, some sort of resistance. So as you guys can see, if I use the bars pattern, you guys can see clearly that this, okay, this kind of W pattern right here, if we drag it over, you guys can see it's literally the exact same. Do you guys see? How it kind of is it is the exact same. Of course, it's not like, you know, um, picture perfect. But you guys can see, okay, and I don't know why it's lagging that much. But you guys can see the W, the come up, then the come down, then this little ball flag. It's literally the exact same, guys. Like, look, okay, that is the exact same kind of pattern that we're having right there, okay? Except this bit is just a little bit stretched out. So I would say right now, okay, of course, after we have this, we could potentially break up to this level. That could happen. But on the basis of the fact that this is historical major, major resistance, I would predict that we are going to probably come back down to test this level one last time if Bitcoin does a retracement. If Bitcoin doesn't do any retracement, we're probably just going to bounce in this area. Things are going to be boring for the next three days. Okay. And then what will happen? Okay. Finally, is we will get, okay, this final major move towards this upside. Okay. And that is going to be the first part of Shiba Inu's next breakout. Now, if Bitcoin does throw us a haymaker and Bitcoin does go down, we're likely to come back to test the support line or to even possibly test this line right here. It is very, very important that we do not test the support line because it's definitely a very, very not bearish area, but it is once you lose key levels of support, the price action does start to fall pretty quickly. So for me right now, guys, Shiba Inu is in a very, very good position, okay? And as you guys can see, we're basically coming towards the end of this large accumulation phase, okay? This is accumulation phase um, one. This is accumulation phase two. And I do believe that once we manage to just, you know, I think we will come down from this, okay? I think we will have another scenario where we come back down here, do something like this, then finally manage to break out here. And then we're going to have that major, major rally, okay? up to the first area of major resistance, okay? So the price range, as you guys can see, that's going to be a nice 20% pump. People are going to be like, why is Tibi Inu pumping again? Then once we break this resistance right here, we're going to pump back to this high level right here. That is that is my optimistic prediction. Of course, Bitcoin could throw us any haymakers. As you guys know, Bitcoin can literally just snap and go down. So currently, Tibi Inu is right on schedule, guys. Everything has just been going swimmingly, okay? We bounced off this line really nicely with the rejection, which showing us that there's a lot of buyers there. Um, This rejection also is not that harsh, okay? And I would also say, guys, Guys, wait for the candle to close. And the fact that we're very close to this is a very, very good sign also. So currently, Shiba Inu right on schedule, guys. 
And maybe we may never touch this blue line again. But um, yeah, if Bitcoin just stays stable, eventually we will break through to this side and eventually we will hit that price target of 62 cents. But that is provided we can get on this yellow line. Now, guys, I wanted to address something as well. Someone in my group chat, okay, drew a line and I'm going to show you guys how they drew the line. They drew the line from here all the way down to here like this. OK, and so for them, OK, they were like, OK, this looks like a breakout, a clear cut breakout, because, of course, we've got resistance, 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 mo loads of resistance, then breakout here. But guys, you have to understand, OK, that this is not how things work. Sometimes you have to draw charts differently. And when you draw them differently, OK, you can always, always, always get major different results. And the one I drew, OK, was one that was based on historical data. OK, so as you guys can see, when I don't go back to my old chat, you can see that we once we hit this exact resistance line, you can see that things are a little bit different. So I would always recommend you guys to draw charts differently um, because sometimes you guys can get confused. So for me, guys, realistically, right now, Shiba Inu is probably, okay, um, on the basis that we just get above this blue line, we're definitely going to be on for some 